this is Dr. Larry Green and we've been talking about the assembly of an offloading machine that's designed to handle up to four 55 gallon full fermenters. That's just about a ton of food waste material that's been fermented and processed. The purpose of the offloading machine is to safely tip the 55 gallon barrels so that we can collect and drain the tea that's produced in the fermenting process. We can dilute that with water and use it in drip irrigation or as a foilant spray. And to also make it easy and safe to remove the pickled pulp material that can then be spread in the field loaded at about 20 pounds per square foot tilled in to produce excellent soil with a strong recovery in microbe diversity and numbers. In the previous video, we pointed out that we have a supporting structure in place while we load one half of the machine. And I've removed that triangular supporting structure and have it ready now to assemble the second half of the machine. Now, the machine consists of rotating units that are equipped with a foot plate for the 55 gallon drum barrel and a safety strap and a sleeve and the sleeve provides spacing between between each of the of the uh, tipping units so uh, let's get started with the assembly i've already added the grease to the inside of the shaft for uh, each of the units that will slip on this axle and i have a two by four propped up two two by fours propped up on top of a five gallon bucket which gives us about the right height to make it easy for me to do the rest of the assembly. So we'll go ahead and assemble this unit now and uh, then in our next video we'll show how to use it when we're processing fermented waste material. Notice that the foot plate is on the opposite side of the axle where I'm working and you'll see why that is in a moment. So we just slide that into position. Then I put a spacer axle in between. And then I slip the, the next tipping unit into place. are heavy. Now we're pretty closely aligned. I can use the foot pad and a little rotation to gain just a little bit of height to make it easier slip the end supporting structure in place. And I just need to slide it in until it's in position with the pinhole lined up between the axle and the shaft. And I'll lock this into position. That's all there is to it. Now the axle and all the units are secure. We only have one more piece to put in place. This is the resting arm that all of the units will be locked into when they're in a drain position. So everything fits together. We only have two bolts left. So two pins and two bolts is all it takes. And the system is completely ready to go and functional.
you'll want to use a crescent or box wrench to secure these bolts. But as I can demonstrate now, with the locking pin removed, when the barrel is placed on that foot pad, strapped into position, then rotated down, it's locked into place so it can't come back up. And of course the barrel will be draining at this point while we're collecting the tea. So in our next video we'll talk a little bit more about and demonstrate how to safely secure the barrel in place and do the emptying process. When you're done and you want to remove the barrel, remove the pin. Of course the barrel will tip up. You're ready to put another barrel in place and go to the next step. So as you can see, we have a machine that allows us to process up to four 55-gallon fermenters, to rotate each of them, and to collect fluid into five-gallon containers. Each barrel will produce about five gallons of Bokashi tea in the end of the fermentation. And uh, this is a good, simple way that one person can manage up to a ton at a time. The unit is normally used in processing anywhere from one to 12 tons of food waste per month. And that gives a lot of good nutrients and value for your, for your soil and your, your crops.